Well, today is a big day. Today really is gonna make moves in my career on YouTube. Today I'm starting my own series. That's right. I'm gonna be doing monthly food. You dog. Oh, you're filming this? I'm out here filming. Oh, it's alright. It's a good reaction. Get it on camera. So, today I'm going to be starting a series. Maybe on my channel? I don't know. It depends how, if you enjoy this video. But I'm going to be calling it Grax Snacks. And basically, I'm going to be telling you about my new food favourites. My old food favourites were, maybe I've gone to a meal I really enjoyed, a restaurant, a little vlog tickets, and my favourite supermarket of the month. My passions in life are food and things like that. So I just want to share those with you guys. Now I'm actually looking kind of, you know, official with some fairy lights. We've got a candle. So we're really making moves on the YouTube community. I know, very professional. I've even worn my smartest shirt. Actually, this isn't my smartest shirt because it's denim, but hi. Start off with some savory snacks. Now I have already tucked into some of these because I just saw them and I couldn't resist. But the first one are these flavor rings by Hula Hoops and they are the spicy flavor. I actually haven't seen these advertised anywhere, but I have seen them in loads of shops. So I think Hula Hoops, you need to, you know, up your game a little bit because these are worth a lot and a lot of credit. These are so good. Obviously all the food I'm gonna be showing today is dairy free. Um, and I'll tell you if it's vegan. This is vegan. This, they're like, they kind of, in texture, they're kind of like Monster Munch. I normally like spicy things, but this is so good. It reminds me of something from my childhood and I cannot put my finger in it. If you know, please say in the comments because I highly recommend them. This one's kind of like a classic, but I've really gotten back into them this month and it kind of helps you get an idea of who I am if you've never watched my videos before. But these are my all time favorite crisps from any supermarket chain really. Marks and Spencers are the original ones that are super good, but these ones are from Asda and were only 80p. How good is that? This is the salt and black pepper flavor. Um, you have to be careful because sometimes they have milk in the loads of different textures of crisps. So you might like the tube like that. Someone else, someone else might like the little wheel. Um, the list just goes on. I really think it's a great idea for a party because not everyone's going to like the same crisps. But this gives like a mixture, shakes it up a little bit. And again, good texture. There's varying shapes. It's really nice to have a different crisp every time. Do you know what I mean? So tons of meat flavor crisps normally have dairy in, but I found these in a meal deal at uni and I found these smoky bacon flavor crisps and they are the pop chips. So you know, any, any meat crisps are actually dairy free. So when I saw these smoky bacon ones, I was like, I'm gonna try those and, mm. they taste exactly like the Walker smoky bacon flavor. But again, texture is on point. And they're actually vegan, even though they are bacon flavor. That's a bit weird. Don't know if I, I don't know how you vegans feel about that, but if you want a bacon tasting crisps, go and try these, they're really good. This guy, these babies are the life. I tried these for the first time in my vegan five days video and they were so good. If you like Mikados and you're vegan or dairy free, please try these because they literally taste like Mikado. I can't recommend them enough. Go and check out that video for my authentic reaction. Another one which is from Asda's own range, which is a vegan. These chocolate cocoa safari animal biscuits now these are actually 
also Jessie's favourite. Jessie, my brother, has been loving these this month. They are just like, it's nice when you find a food when you're dairy free that just tastes normal. And these taste normal, even then, though they're free from. They're like just little little biscuits. Again, it's just a good snack. Like shortbready chocolate type biscuits. Really good. Can't recommend enough. Um, they do tiny of a tiny bit have like a gritty texture but other than that i can work with it these waffles with chocolate on from asda i think it was a pound for this pack of six and again not the best for the environment but it is good for convenience they are individually packaged so you can just pop them in your bag have them on your way to work or school or uni in the morning um just for like a little emergency and they are like chocolate waffles and they are amazing. They do have egg in, so these aren't vegan, but they are so good. They, like for a pudding with a little bit of vanilla Swedish glacé ice cream, these would be such a fat vibe. I'm gonna add a little section in here for the video of my favorite supermarket of the month. Supermarket segment, Ooh, what's it gonna be for me? because I had never really fully been to the supermarket before. And then this past two months, I've just been living there. Asda. Asda has really won my heart. It is amazing. The prices are incredible. Only for snacks. I've never done like a full on shop there. So I don't, I can't really comment on the fresh produce and meat and things like that. But the snacks, and they have all of the new things. And the last segment of my food favorites is going to be me trying something that i've not tried before and i found in asda my favorite favorite place of all i found these cookie minis these are from foxes and these are new and again dairy free mini cookies baked with dark chocolate chips and i'm just gonna try them i saw them and i was like you know what that look oh they're really mini they're so cute, look how tiny, oh my gosh, I just, so tiny. I love baby food and big food. Food in normal size is just boring. Let's have baby food, oh my gosh, right. So, it looks like a normal cookie, but they're tiny. Imagine these like sprinkled on some Swedish glacé ice cream, so yummy, okay, here we go. Wow. Wow. They're immediately getting put in this food favourites. They are so good. That's probably the best dairy free cookie I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that. They are so good and they're mini. So you can literally just pop them back. I am elated. So good. I. Everyone go try these. This was a pound in Asda. I've never seen them before. It's because Asda's really pulling through with the uh, good foods. I love you this month. You are really the one for me. She has claimed that something is the one for her two times in one video. I'm not doing another montage again because you're just ridiculous, Grace. Two claims that you found the one in food. Shame on you. Anyway, um, that's kind of everything I've been loving this month. Hi guys, so I'm just popping in. I've just had a shower and I'm feeling fresh. But as I was packing my bag for uni, I remembered I forgot to add this guy into the mix. Oh, this guy into the mix. This is the Boots Chocolate Mint Nougat Bar and it is exceptional. It is dairy free, obviously, and it's like nougat and it's mint flavoured and it's such a nice afternoon snack. Let me know how you feel about this. Be honest, because if you hated it, then that's fine and I'll just never do it again. But if you did enjoy it, then obviously I'm going to do it again because food is my passion. I'm doing a degree in food, so it's kind of linked to my forte, if you know what I mean. And I love you all to the moon and back. Any, also, pop it in the comment section. Any foods you've been loving, any foods you've been hating, any new foods you've discovered, anything you want to recommend to me, let a girl know. Guess what C-Dog brought us? <gasps> a 
have you ever seen that? I've seen that, that's new! Have you seen it? Where did you buy it from? Waitrose. Oh, can I see it? I mean, you. It's a bit. Oh, it is cold. Spinach artichoke and mushroom pizza. I didn't know they even did it. Should we have that for dinner? And she's also got some kiwi berries. No, I've had those. Are we too. talking about that with you? No. Who's I talking about that with? Should we have that for dinner? I don't know. Or have you already eaten? Well, I can always eat, but. Okay, let me film this. Hi, Grackle fans. Right, goodbye. Ouch.